I couldn't get any entry level job in my own company because I couldn't pass the written test or the math test for the two disciplines, I couldn't. I own the whole fucking thing and the straight facts are I could not work for my own company in an entry level job. Were you always successful? In everything but school. Didn't do well in school. Poor, terrible actually. Um, Punted it. And this is where I give my parents enormous credit. Education is the way out for immigrants. Sure is. My mom recognized that I was a merchant, an entrepreneur, and then when I got D's and F's, she punished me. Even though she knew I didn't need school in her heart, she made me know that there was accountability for things. The biggest problem right now is insecurity. Everybody's actions are to get shit to close their insecurity. You have so much time and everybody's in such a rush. They're in a rush because they want to prove something to somebody. Money is not the variable of happiness. To me, life is broken down into complaining and not. So if you're not complaining, well then I have no, I have no advice for you. I'm, I'm pumped, like you did it. I just don't understand people dwelling and complaining. Like listen, I really, really, really would have enjoyed being the quarterback of the New York Jets. But by fourth grade, I looked around, I'm like, fuck, I'm not gonna be the quarterback of the Jets. <laughs> and so I said, you know what? Instead of being the quarterback of the Jets, I'm gonna buy the Jets. There's so many people that are talking shit about how big of an entrepreneur they're gonna be and how much they're gonna achieve and they don't work on weekends. The reason I do a daily vlog on YouTube is don't listen to what I'm saying, watch what I'm doing. I wanna make patience and empathy and gratitude and eating fucking dog shit for 15 years cool, mm. period because that's the only way they're gonna get it. Right. You know, I worked every Saturday of my 20s. Like I don't sit in my couch and say, I'm gonna be a millionaire and then like jerk off while I'm playing Madden all day. Like people want all these special things to happen but then they're acting like everybody else. And that gets into the Saturdays on in your 20s. Like, or or just like taking risks or things of that nature. Like the shit's fucking binary. Either you do the shit that gets you there or you don't. And everybody's focused on the finish line not the treadmill work and the fucking drinking the fucking egg like Rocky fucking Balboa. They don't want to do that shit. So what should we do, Gary Vee? People should fucking stop complaining. Right. People good, should good figure call. out who the fuck they are. You gotta figure out how to try shit. Like that's the only like like you just never know what your favorite food was until you try it. If you only had chicken, you might have not known that hot dogs were the best. So that's what I love about the internet. These kids have so much option to like watch shit on YouTube and to like my only answer to Nate or anybody like, is just like, just try shit. The reason most people who are listening right now are not doing that thing is they're worried about the opinion of somebody, usually their mother, usually their father, and the reality is, is that your spouse may be the person holding you back and you have to have that conversation. Do you feel like you judge yourself? I don't, and it's what I want for everybody else. We're beating ourselves up. Like, everybody sucks at something. Right? Like we all have shortcomings and we all have strengths. And for me it's like why don't we just audit that? You have to love hard. You have to love eating shit. You have to love people leaving comments saying you suck. You have to love the process. Figure out what your fucking thing is and stop making fucking bullshit excuses. Who the president is, your mom did this, like like I missed it, I had that idea for Uber. Then why didn't you fucking do it, dick? People decide no before they try. You've just decided no because the system tells you no. You've been pound, you've been sold no. If you're lucky enough right now to be listening and you're good at what you like, become tunnel fucking vision. Because there's way too many voices telling you what and how. I want the pain, I want the process, I have the patience, I don't care when I have setbacks. I know that I'm asking for something special and if you're asking for something special, it should be hard. Everybody's saying no. I just say yes. And then if it's a no, I don't give a fuck. You're gonna judge me that I lost? I don't give a fuck what you think. And that's why I get so into that. Because then then you're not scared to try shit. Because when you don't give a fuck what anybody says about you failing, you love failing. I love losing. Own your shortcomings, own your strengths, surround yourself with the other shit, and stuff starts to pop. Thank you for having me. Thank you.